Hi, from this JDBC session, we will learn about the driver loading. That is loading a driver and how a driver is registered with a driver manager. How a driver manager can use a particular driver to establish a connection by loading it. And a few enhancements that made our job as developer easy starting JDBC 4.0 and Java 6. Before J Java 6 or JDBC 4.0 version, all our JDBC applications had to load a driver class into memory or at least create an instance of the driver class and invoke the register method manually so that the driver can register itself with the driver manager. So here is the syntax or here is the way to load the driver manager. Here is the way to load any class into memory in Java using the class.forMain method which takes a string which is nothing but a class name. In this case, we are loading the JDBC ODBC bridge driver that comes with your JDK JRE installation by default. When we load the JDBC ODBC bridge driver or any other driver into memory, that driver has a static block. If you open the code for this guy in your uh, uh, JDK, if you decompile it and see, there is a static block inside which an instance of this class is created using the new operator and then the driver manager's register method is called by passing in an instance of this driver. Similarly, if you are using the Oracle theme driver, the oracle.jdbc.oracle driver, when you load the driver into memory using the class.forname, loading means loading the class from your hard disk into your primary memory, which is RAM. So loading it from secondary memory to your primary memory, then the JDM can start using it. So when you load it, there is a static block that gets executed as soon as the class gets loaded in Java. And then within that, there is an instance of this driver being created and then a register method on driver manager is called by passing in that instance. In the next step, when you create a connection, that is how the driver manager knows that all the registers, which are uh, drivers have registered it with itself, with the driver manager, it will check which of the driver can accept the URL string you are passing to the get connection. So the driver manager will pass the string to each of the drivers that were loaded and registered with the driver manager. Whichever driver accepts that string, it will use the driver to connect to the database. So we have to do two steps to establish a connection before Java 6 and the JDBC 4. But with Java 6, this step got eliminated. We no more load the driver into memory. We, uh, the drivers get automatically registered using, using the mechanism called service provider mechanism. That is a new feature in Java 6 and JDBC 4. Using service pro provider mechanism, every driver implementation, it could be Oracle, the JDBC ODBC bridge or Oracle OCA driver or MySQL driver or SQL driver, SQL server driver from Microsoft, they all include another configuration file called java.sql.driver that is the name of the file inside a meta inf folder in their jar files so the jar files the driver jar files they give there will be this folder and this file this file will have what the driver class name is so as soon as the JV, jvm loads classes into memory when the jvm loads all the classes into memory on the class file it will browse through each of the jar files for this file, looks at the driver class name and loads that class into memory automatically. So we can directly start using driver manager.get connection and need not do class dot for name at all. So when we do driver manager.get connection, the driver manager knows how to find the drivers automatically by passing in the connection string and it uses that particular driver to establish and create a connection. From that point in time, it's all straightforward creating the statement objects, executing the SQL. So from this presentation, you have learned that before Java 6 and JDBC 4.0, you have to load the driver manually into memory by using class dot for name. When you do that, it loads it from the secondary memory which is the hard disk into your primary memory which is RAM. Once you do that, the static blocks in Java in a Java class gets executed when you load a class into memory. Every driver class implementation has a static block that creates an instance of the driver itself and then calls the register method on the driver manager class. 
in the next step, when we create a connection, the driver manager, since all the drivers would have registered with it, it calls the get connection method on a particular driver by passing in the URL. And if that particular driver can use that URL, it, uh, it establishes the connection and hands it over. If not, it will go on to the next driver that has registered. And in Java 6, the mechanism called service provider mechanism automates the loading of drivers. We need not manually load this. This step is gone from Java 6 and JDBC 4. And the way it does it is, every driver provider in their jar files will have a meta INF folder under which there will be a file called java.sql.driver. If you open that file, there will be the name of the driver. In case of Oracle Thin, it will be Oracle colon JDBC colon Oracle driver. Similarly for Microsoft SQL, it will be a different driver. It's as simple as that, loading uh, driver. In the next JDBC session, you will see uh, more about results at metadata. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching.